Okay. Mm. Pony just wants to be involved with whatever I'm doing. So if I'm getting dressed for the day, she's right there next to me. She's watching, she's meowing, and she wants a scarf too. <laughs> She loves wearing all the clothes. Yeah. She loves wearing the scarf. She loves wearing all the jewels. She just loves sitting there and getting the attention from me, from mom. <laughs> Cute. Orange dress or the brown dress? Orange dress. Pony's always been very vocal, so I thought it would be funny if I let her pick out my clothes. Yellow shirt? White t-shirt? White t-shirt. She'll pick out my accessories, my purse, my shoes. Yellow or purple? Purple, okay, got it. Honestly, she knows how to pick out an outfit. Thanks for helping me, Pony. She somehow just slays and picks the right one every time. <laughs> Going through the pandemic, I was, like everyone else, stuck at home questioning my future and just was dealing with a lot of, you know, mental turmoil. Pony is very special. She can sense my emotions and what I'm going through. And I think Pony was very tapped into my emotions during that period of life. Yeah, yesterday was rough. Me and Pony wanted some color and light and brightness to life. We decided, you know what, just to keep the creative juices flowing, to keep my mental stamina up, I'm just going to paint murals in my house, redecorate. And Pony was there, and she's been supportive. It's just been a beautiful journey that we've kind of taken on together. It was a, a good way to feel better about the situation. Pony's definitely helped give me some confidence to really up the game of being eccentric with what I wear and even my apartment aesthetic. I am so appreciative for all of the color, joy, and meows that she's brought into my life. She's my little bestie. She's <laughs> my baby, baby. Actually, I think she's my soulmate. <laughs>